there are decorative stitches on the Faf Quilt Expression 720 that actually are much larger than your presser foot. So first off, as I look at my stitch width, it says 36 millimeters wide, plus it asks for a different presser foot. Foot number eight. Now here is an example of stitches that are much bigger than the opening. They travel side to side. Now this is one that I actually did for our Fox Stitching Cosmos online course with our twin needle lesson. So yes, you can actually twin needle up a maxi stitch. So what is, how do you actually sew a maxi stitch? So first off, make sure your IDT is disengaged in the back because the foot number eight does not have that little opening. So when you're stitching, you do have to be a little bit in control of where you are going. So first off, take a peek at where that little green plus is. The green plus indicates where it's going to start. And if you want to see how long one repeat is, touch the pattern. Uh, rest oh, nope. Oh, here, we'll go into a pattern one time there that's what it's going to look like as it stitches just once if you want to see that before you start here but you can see it'll just continue on next you will need to kind of keep the foot parallel to the edge of your fabric or if you've drawn a line that's also going to help so as you stitch do make sure you put some stabilizer under your fabric and again i'm going to set it just to do that one repeat so you can kind of see it all finished out, but look how it's traveling to different sides. It really is creating a amazing design. And again, letting it will stop at the end. So we're just gonna let it do its job. But for any reason, the fabric starts to kind of wander and not be as parallel. I'm gonna use my fingers just to oh so softly kind of adjust where that fabric is going. And so see if I had a line here, when I go to finish it, I want to make sure that I'm back near the starting line, then that way it can continue going straight. So if you're doing this for a border along the edge of a linen um, tablecloth or napkin, you can keep yourself going all the same direction. But look at this. Now you're going to discover you have stitches in this machine that are bigger. It's not just in the maxi settings. Let's just kind of go ahead. I was in the 5.4 area. These are gonna be bigger stitches, but if you're actually even back one level, when you're stitching out all those decorative stitches like we've talked about for doing a stitch book, you're gonna to get to, for example, stitch 12 here. Oh, that one's nine. I had one of these other ones. Where are they? There we go, let's go up. There we go, 27, 26. See how they're bigger than nine? They're 11, so those will have a slight side to side movement. Not as big as the one we just stitched, but this is going to give you a little surprise. It's gonna give you a bigger stitch than you had planned. But when we talk maxi stitches, we talk gorgeous stitches that you can embellish. How about variegated thread on that? Would that look fun? I think it would. Check out our FOP Stitching Cosmos online course where we do use all these stitches to the fullest and you can join us at any time by signing up and even watching 10 videos for free. Check out the links below this YouTube video for all the details.